Albertans expect the UCP will present a budget, balanced budget at the very least tomorrow. In fact, we are expecting there to be a surplus due to a dramatic increase in global energy prices. While the UCP will talk about how great the Treasury is doing, the reality is much different for ordinary people and everyday Albertans. Inflation has led to massive increases for everything from gasoline to groceries. We purchased $300 of groceries to show Albertans exactly how much they will be sacrificing each month due to rising utility prices. As you can see, this is a significant amount of food. There's very large amounts of Cheerios and uh, uh, pasta sauce and uh, uh, you know very, the, the big club size of everything here. This is the type of thing that you buy when you're a family, when you're trying to feed uh, uh, kids in school, maybe teenagers. This is a lot of food and this is, a, this is what people are going without. Now, I, as I said, this is just to cover off the cost of power and heat. This doesn't even cover the sacrifices that have to be made due to other UCP policy choices, like higher income tax, higher property tax, or car insurance. And don't forget, the cost of even these groceries, you're getting far less for $300. Those groceries have gone up dramatically at a time when Albertans are getting much less for their dollar. So in tomorrow's budget, we want to see a return to reality for the UCP to actually meet the needs of ordinary people because the speech from the throne had its head in the clouds and did not seem to appreciate just how much people are hurting right now. It looks like there's no help coming from the UCP's increases on income tax, property tax, tuition, parking fees, or car insurance. The only thing they mentioned was the potential support for natural gas bills. And while this support is welcome, it may fall short in two areas. First, we're worried it won't actually help Albertans with the natural gas bills they're facing right now. The Premier has previously said the rebate won't apply until $6.50 a gigajoule. With gas prices currently around $4.50 a gigajoule, they will have to increase another 50, almost 50% 50 before help is available with, for Albertans who are already struggling to pay their gas bills. Second, it doesn't cover the rising cost of electricity. Albertans from across this province have been sending us their utility bills. We regularly see increases around $300 or even more. According to media reports, one woman in Calgary saw her bill increase by $450. At a time when Albertans are already paying more for everything from groceries to insurance, these increases mean real sacrifices for families.